Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get SIOS, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System emulator, on your iOS device. This emulator was created by Lucas Mendes Menge and is hosted by iEmulators.com. Now, this emulator will work on all iOS devices running iOS 6 through 8, non jailbroken or jailbroken alike. Now, this is one of the greatest simulators that I've played with yet. It just offers so many amazing features to play through some of the classic Super Nintendo Entertainment System games that I played as a child. I hope you guys are excited to relive some of your past memories or make some new memories playing with this amazing emulator. Alright, so let's begin. To get SIOS, you'll have to go to iEmulators.com and you can go there by opening your iEmulators application or by simply opening Safari and typing iEmulators in the URL. If you're wondering how to get the iEmulators application, it's very simple. Just click on Welcome to iEmulators 2.0 and then scroll down and you'll see that it says Add to home screen. It's that simple. Go ahead and do that because iEmulator is going to be your best website for news on all things non jailbroken applications. Anyways, to get the app, we're going to click on Apps and scroll down to SIOS. As you can see, this is the updated version 1.4.2 and it is truly amazing. As you can see, you can read all about the application and its creator and features that it has. As you can see, you just have to click install to install the application, though this does require the date trick. So hit install, quickly head over to your settings, go to general, date and time, and then set your date back at least 24 hours for this download to work. Once you do that, when you head home, you'll see that your SIOS is done or downloading depending on your internet connection. Open the application one time and then head back into your settings and set your date back to it automatically. With that done, we'll be able to have SIOS as you can see here, but we do not have any games. But before we go into getting games, as you can see, there is a lot of awesome settings that you can use within the application. You actually can use made for iPhone controllers like the Mocha Ace with this application, which I find quite handy. Anyways, to get games, you're just going to head into Safari and go to your favorite ROM website, mine being CoolROM.com. And when we arrive there, you can search for the game that you want to get, or you can go the traditional way by clicking on ROM files, scrolling down. Super Nintendo is actually the last one, and that's quite convenient. And now from here, you can browse by top games by region, featured games, browse by letter, Browse by genre, top 25, downloaded as you can see with some of the classics, Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, as well as top 25 rated and see the best games that people enjoy. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to be getting a game that's very close to heart and navigating by Browse by Letter. So I'm going to click on Browse by Letter, click on M because the game that I want to get is the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger games that I played endlessly as a child. So I'm just going to scroll down looking for that title. And of course, once you find the game that you want to get, all you have to do is click on it. And once you do that, it will take you to the actual page for that ROM. And here you'll find information about the game, screenshots and a ton of nice stuff. But what you're looking for is the download now button. You'll know that your download has begun because next to your Wi-Fi, you'll get a swirly loading thing. And once it's done, you can click on open in and then SIOS. And as you can see, we now have the ROM that we downloaded. In my case, it was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And when you click on it, you can see that it'll play like so. If you're on an iPhone, on an iPad, the UI may be different because it has its own separate UI on an iPad, which is really cool. It's optimized for that. And if you click on the menu, you can actually head into the settings while you're still playing your game, which I find to be really awesome. I myself like to play with smooth scaling and full screen on so I can get the best experience out of the game. As you can see, this emulator also offers save states, so you can save a state and load a state however you so choose. And you can also save within a game. I encourage you guys to mess around with the settings and find your favorite settings so that you can enjoy some of the classic SNES games on your iOS device. 
Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button and show your support for SIOS. As well as, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I highly recommend you do because I release videos like this one and on iOS related things every Friday, among other things throughout the week. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.